There are four kinematic equations, valid when the acceleration is constant, and the question often comes up, how do you choose the correct one to solve the problem at hand? The best process is often this one. Given a problem, identify quantities that are known from the problem statement and quantities that you're trying to find. As we read through this problem statement, the known quantities are first the acceleration, three and a half meters per second squared. The car starts from rest. That tells us the initial velocity is zero. And it ends up with a velocity of 15 meters per second. That's the final velocity. So we know the acceleration, the initial velocity, and the final velocity. The quantities we're trying to find are the time, that's t, and the distance, in this case that's delta x, the same as the displacement. So we know the quantities in green, and we're trying to find those in red. Let's go through our kinematic equations and identify each of these. In equation one, we know the final velocity, the initial velocity, the acceleration, and we're trying to find the time. In equation two, we need to find the displacement, that's the distance the car travels. We know the final velocity, the initial velocity, but don't know the time. In equation three, we don't know the displacement. We do know the initial velocity, not the time, we do know the acceleration, but not the time again. And in equation four, we know the two velocities and the acceleration, but not the displacement. Our job now is to take these four equations and find at least one of them that, given our knowns, can be solved for the thing we're trying to find. Let's deal with the time first. If we want to find time, then we need to identify an equation that has time t as the only unknown. As we look at the list, Notice that the first equation, equation one, has only one unknown in it, and it's the time t. So we can solve for that. Substitute the values and calculate, finding that in this case, the time for the acceleration is 4.29 seconds. So we can count t as a known now, add it to the list, scratch it off of those we're trying to find, and check off the time in all of our equations. Now we need to find the distance, delta x, that the car travels. If you look at equation two, you see that now delta x is the only unknown in that equation, so we can use that one. Equation three also has only one unknown, delta x. And so does equation four. Delta x is the only unknown in equations two, three, and four. So we can use any of them, and I'll show you here how they each work. Using equation two looks like this. It gives you an answer of 32.2 meters. Equation three is similar. The initial velocity is zero. Substitute the values, and you get the same number, 32.2 meters. Equation four, we need to solve for the displacement, delta x. That gives you this expression, substitute numbers and calculate, and you again get the same number to within round off error. So the process for choosing the right kinematic equation is this. Given the problem statement, extract from it the known quantities, quantities that appear in the kinematic equations that you can attach numbers to. Identify then the quantities you're trying to find, and look at each kinematic equation to find at least one that has only one unknown in it. You can solve for that unknown. 